Welcome to the US Design Show. I am your host, Emmanuel Johnson Jr. And today I'm going to be talking about the YouTube Live TV app. I love this app so far. There's a few things missing from the regular YouTube app. Some of the interactions and things of that nature are not there. So one of the reasons why I wanted to cover it today is because I'm hoping that by making this video, um, you guys may have some comments on that. Maybe you want those features or don't want those features. Either way it go, let's get into it. So when you loaded the app, it has a nice little record button that shows you the logo. I've already been in here so you don't get the tour anymore but you can always access the tour. And it starts to bring you into the live content, basically top picks for you. New shows for you to record, The Bachelor, which I do not watch. Just want to go ahead and put that out there. Do not watch The Bachelor. Either way it go, you start to see these things and I love the fact that it gives you a cover photo and then once you roll over it, you start to see uh, the actual show play live, uh, which is nice. And the scrolling here is fine. The one thing you will notice about this application is that you cannot turn it sideways. Right now, I'm turning my phone sideways. You cannot put it in landscape mode. You can only use this in portrait mode. So I think that's a little bit of a slight when you think about the fact that Hulu TV, uh, Roku, Sling, all of those different applications let you have freedom of rotation. And just so I am clear, yep, auto rotate is on. So yeah. Not exactly sure why they're forcing you to use portrait, but uh, you'll start to see that as we move through the application itself. So, let's see what some of these menus do. Of course, we have search. Search brings you into this big, elaborate search window where you can browse. You got your networks, what's trending, what's popular, leagues, sitcoms, so on and so forth. So, you can see all of these things, and of course, you can scroll them. Uh, so that's nice. Of course, if you want to speak it, you can speak it if you like. Um, so all of those things are there. That's, that's all very, very good, typical stuff of an application like this. So, you know, let's do a little search here. Let's say, um, what's the show I'm watching right now? Black Sales. Let's see if Black Sales come up. I love Black Sales. Black Sales is not here. Oh, yeah, that's a Showtime show. Let's do South Park. Hopefully they got a deal with the good people. They do not have a deal with them. All right. Let's go with the, uh, there it is, Big Bang Theory. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. So you see how the search works? Use this button if you want to watch YouTube TV on your TV. So basically you can cast. That is really good. You can cast um, past episodes. We're going to hit the plus button here because I'm going to show you something. That is letting you know that you now want this show to be recorded. There's a DVR built into this thing, so you hit that plus sign, it'll automatically start to record those live shows for you so that you can watch them. Also, too, uh, most of these companies that they sign up with give you the older episodes anyway, but this is a great way for you to watch the episode the very next day versus when CBS decides to finally release this particular episode. So that's good. Of course, you can scroll to the about side, or to the about section. You can always tap it. Nice little way it kind of snaps to the top here. We scroll to the top, so that's awesome. So you slide there, you get your cast. Uh, typical material uh, operating system design, so all of that makes sense. And then similar stuff, other things you may want to check out. It starts with some other CBS shows, and then it branches out and some other things that you're probably going to be interested in. So let's back out here for a second. All the way back, all the way back. And let's go to something live, because one of the things I found interesting, before, but before we do that, before we do that, let's hit this menu here. This is the thing I thought was quirky. This is the thing I don't understand. So for top picks for you, and you will see this little uh, menu icon throughout the application. It says, don't show me this for a day. So you tap that, and it disappears. I do not understand why there is the option to not show you something for a day, for 24 hours. I, I don't get that. You don't see that in the usual um, YouTube app. That is the weirdest thing. Maybe there's some sort of research they found that says people just may want to hide it for a day and not bring it back. I can see you hiding it somewhere. There's a sort of um, a certain level of categories that you may want to check off so that you don't see them anymore, and you can always have the option to bring them back. But to hide something for a day seems really weird, and you will see that throughout the whole thing. Don't show for this. Don't show me this for a day. Don't show me this for a day. Really weird. All right. So it may not show you anything live because I know a lot of these applications are recorded. Let's just go right here to Fox News. 
If it doesn't show the video up top, that's okay. I'm gonna kill the audio here for a second. Tucker Carlson. Oh yeah, that's the uh, that's the guy who does the odd uh, jobs. Oh, Tucker Carlson is him. Sorry, Mike Rowe. That's his name, Tucker Carlson. Anyway, if you wanted to record this show, you got your plus button there again. Um, you have your menu here where it gives you a bevy of options. Add Tucker Carlson tonight. Go to Tucker Carlson tonight. Go to Fox News. Send feedback. Help. Blah, blah. Let's check out this same feedback. That is very standard uh, Google feedback window. You'll see this in any application. It comes standard anytime you're building a material design application. So that's fine. You can hit this menu, just kind of give you some more information. If you tap this, it takes you to the Fox News uh, channel, which is awesome because you can see anything that's new, anything that they have already pre recorded, which uh, they're not going to have anything pretty much pre recorded. All of this is going to be. Uh, upcoming items that you can see later. The scroll here is kind of sticky for some reason. When you roll over the thumbnails, okay, it's fine now. All right. I do like the fact that we were watching something live when we went when we went outside of it. It still has a small thumbnail of it playing here. But again, one of the disadvantages is when you turn landscape, it brings you directly back into the video. You have completely lost access to the menu. It's gone. If you want it back, you can't get it back. You have some quality options here. Um, you can choose whether your audio is primary or secondary. I think that's uh, referring to uh, your different sound options. A lot of Android phones, you can have your headphones plugged in, but maybe you just uh, want to have it to where it does play speaker anyway. And you have your headphones in. There's a lot of different things you can do with Android phones when it comes to audio options. So that's pretty cool that they work uh, that into the mix. So that's fine. But again, I lose access to my menu. I can't get my menu back um, unless I go back to portrait. Even when I swipe up, there are no options here. If you remember from my Hulu live app, um, I talked about the fact that I love their flip tray, but you couldn't just swipe to get it back. If you use the YouTube app, you can always swipe up. If there's another video that's supposed to play next, all those videos that are coming next will show up. So that's a really weird interaction. I don't know why they went that way um, when it came to displaying their video content uh, through this application. So that's that's one of the weird and kind of hinky things. Anything you hit a plus on shows up in this library tab right here at the left that I just tapped. So you can see I got Preacher, my Falcons played tonight on CW, yeah, yeah. And um, so that's all good. And then some other TV shows, yep, the same ones. Uh, they'll show up here for recordings. Things that are, that are upcoming to record, so that's great. Um, this is all very, very standard stuff here. It really is. And these are the things that it has already recorded for me. I have not seen Preacher in a while, so I can't wait to check that out. It is a absolutely bonker show. I don't, it, it's, 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 a, it's a ton going on there. All right. So let's hit the live tab. The live tab, I think, is very, very interesting. You can scroll very quickly with, with just a slight, slight slide of your finger. You can just whip this thing around and you can get to different options in the menu. What irks me about it, again, you can't do it in portrait. If you go portrait, it brings you back to a live video you was watching. You go back to, oh my goodness, I just lost my menu. I just lost the menu completely. It just brought me right back into this, into this live took across the tab and I've completely lost that. Now I can swipe that away so that's good and now I have my menu again. To me that is not a good experience. If I turn this sideways I should be able to get my menu sideways. I don't understand why they're locking this app the way they are. Um, but I do like the fact that when you scroll this you get a cover and then it goes live. You get a cover, it goes live. You get a cover, it goes live. It's really smooth. I like it. Um, I like the the idea of it. I just wish there was a tad bit more flexibility when it comes to your viewing option. You should be able to view it like this and still scroll it. Right now, um, it probably isn't registering, but I am. The phone is in landscape. I have it turned landscape, and I'm scrolling it. And yeah, I, I would like to be able to see this in la uh, in landscape. I, I think it's really weird that they're they're sticking you in portrait. Um, but that's it. I mean, that's that's the majority of the app. The two weirdest things so far, again, is don't show this for one day. And the fact that you cannot turn 
um, the screen portrait without getting a full view of this and even if you get a full view you lose complete access to all your menus and your browser options um, it's really weird at the same time I think it's a cool app I'm very interested to see where this goes Sling got this whole thing started and I'm so glad it's kicked off because cord cutters like me love the fact that they're building stuff like this um, I don't want anyone to be discouraged from trying this app out or trying out this service you should absolutely try it out like I said you get all those channels plus you get the ESPN with sports so right now it's offering one of the best lineups for the amount of money that you're going to spend but there are some really weird things with the UI and um, tell me what you think so leave some comments down below hit me up on Twitter hit me up on Facebook tell me what you think about this uh, I would like to see more from this um, yeah I, it's not what I expected I was hoping that it would work just like YouTube uh, currently does and it doesn't but anyway that's it for the show thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace